So what is Code Spaces? Uh, GitHub launched uh, this product a, a while ago, and essentially what it is is a remote compute in the cloud. Uh, now, this is not that doesn't sound new at all. We already have virtual machines, uh, containers, Kubernetes, all kinds of different things that are that are essentially remote computing the cloud, like even serverless. Uh, you know, different cloud providers have their different technologies, and all of that is compute, and all of that is remote, and all of that runs in the cloud. So, what is this code spaces thing? Well, the thing is that it's remote compute where you can have like a development environment. All right, but that still doesn't say much about what the difference is between regular remote compute, like say a virtual machine running in the cloud, versus uh, what I'm describing about code spaces. But the thing is that the remote compute will have a text editor attached to it. You're gonna have to be able to, uh, to connect seamlessly your text editor to the remote compute. And by default, that's Visual Studio Code. And essentially it launches on the web a full fledged out version of Visual Studio on the browser attached to this remote compute. Beyond that, you have the ability, and we're going to see this in this course, how we can configure that to take advantage of all of these particulars in configurations, system configurations, text data configurations, and then a couple of extra things that will make this a compelling uh, choice. So essentially to recap, Code Spaces is remote compute with an attached uh, text editor that in this case by default is Visual Studio Code that allows you to have a seamless environment where to and very quickly uh, to do some programming, to do some editing, to create projects and uh, interact with technology, build Docker containers, uh, run web applications and, and do some, some, some coding. So that is in essence code spaces and that is why it's different from just regular uh, remote compute running on the cloud.